Hi, this is Tim Rudin, author of Statistics in Plain English, and in this video I'm going to describe how you calculate a standard error of the mean and then use that to calculate a z-score. And then you can use the z-scores to find probabilities in the normal distribution. So to begin, um, you're going to need to calculate a standard error of the mean, and if we have population data, that's the formula for doing it. It's the population standard deviation divided by the um, sample size. And then once you've calculated a standard error, if you know what the sample mean and the population mean, you can calculate a z-score using this formula here. And it's just the sample mean minus the population mean divided by the standard error of the mean. That'll give you a z-score. So let's take a look and see how we do this. Let's say that um, we've got a population mean of 10 with a population standard deviation of 3 and a sample mean of 11 with a sample size of 25. So we're going to first calculate the standard error of the mean. It's going to be 3, which is the standard deviation, divided by the square root of the sample size is going to be 3 over 5 which is 0.6. Now that we have the standard error of the mean we can calculate a z-score. And to calculate this we're going to take the sample mean minus the population mean divide that by the standard error of the mean, and that gives us 1 divided by 0.6, which is 1.67, 1 and 2 thirds, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we found a z score of 1.67 and we want to know what is the proportion of the normal distribution that falls beyond that z-score. And if we look in Appendix A, we find that the area um, below or to the left of a z-score of 1.67 is um, right about 0 0.9051, 0 0.9051. Um, and so if this area is 0 0.9051, then this area right here, that's going to be 0 0.0. Whoops. Point oh nine four nine. So the area beyond this z score is going to be point oh nine four nine. So put another way, we could say that nine point oh four nine percent of the randomly selected samples. Uh, from this population with an N of 25, about 9.049% of those samples would be expected to have means of 11 or higher. So um, that gives that's how we can calculate a z-score um, using the standard error of the mean and compare or find the probability of getting randomly selected sample means with um, that are far away, a certain distance away from the population mean. So what's the probability of randomly selecting a sample of size 25 from this population that would have a mean of 11 or higher? The probability is 0.9049% or 0 0.0949. Um, that's about 10%. Um, 
that tells us if we were doing a test of statistical significance that this sample mean would not be considered significantly different from the population mean. Because um, normally we use an alpha level of 0.05. Um, the, this p-value is larger than 0.05, so it wouldn't be considered statistically significant. Um, but it would be, you know, fairly rare, about 1 in 10 times you would expect to get a sample mean this much bigger than the population mean by chance. So that is it, and I hope that that was helpful.